This is Lad Akins here at Reef Headquarters in Key Largo, and we're going to do a little demo on how to fillet a lionfish. Before we do, let's take a look at this fish. About 15 inches long, about a pound and a quarter, and uh, there's certain things we want to be aware of on this fish, including the location of the venomous spines. So if we look across the back of the fish here, you can see that we have some very long, very sharp dorsal spines. There are 13 of these, and those are all venomous. Certainly want to be aware of those. But there are also some spines on the bottom of the fish. If we flip the fish up, we can see this pair of fins called pelvic fins. And the first element, the first side of each of these pelvic fins, is a spine about an inch long that's venomous. And then towards the back of the fish as well, we have three short spines, anal spines right here. And these three spines are also venomous. So we want to be aware of those spines, but while we're filleting this fish, those are all going to be laying flat against the cutting board, so shouldn't be a problem. One other thing to note on the fish are the cheeks. Lionfish are members of the scorpion fish family and have very bony cheeks. These are not venomous, but they are quite rough, and they can uh, chew your fingers up a little bit if you're not paying attention to them. So let's go ahead and get started on the fish. We're actually going to fillet this fish and skin it. Both sides should give us nice fillets. There are many different ways to fillet a fish. This is one way we tend to use quite often. We'll lift the pe pectoral fins up out of the way and go from just behind the spines on the head and in front of the dorsal fin spines and make a shallow cut across the meat here right down onto the belly. So I'm going to come from the back of the fish right down to the vent. And I just need to break the skin on this cut. The second cut we're going to make it's going to be right down the back of the fish, running just along the edge of the dorsal spines. And again, I don't need to cut deep. Just cut right down across the back of the fish, down towards the tail, breaking the skin. And then the third cut on the fish is going to be on the bottom of the fish. And it's going to join these cuts together right here. So I'll join this cut and then run along the bottom of the fish out towards the tail. And what I've done is I've just broken the skin enough that I can actually peel it off. So if we look up here on the shoulder where these two cuts join, we can just lift up the skin, get a little grip on that, and peel it down towards the tail. And this skin peels right off and eliminates the need for having to scale the fish. So you can see it's great, very beautiful white meat on the fish. Now what I'll do is I'm just going to score down the back, running parallel to the floor with this knife right along the backbone. So just going a little bit deeper each time, kind of lifting up with my thumb as I do. Let me make a little deeper cut right here to join those together. And I can start lifting the meat up. And we'll just run right down the backbone here. Now I'm getting below the backbone in towards the ribs. You can see some rib bones right here. So I'll cut a little shallower along those ribs so I don't get into the bones themselves. And then just peel this down. And once I'm to this point, I can lay my, life, my knife down and just kind of fillet across towards the tail. And there we go. Really nice piece of fillet suitable for dinner. Um, and we're going to do the other side of the fish as well. So I'm going to set this in my, in my fish tray real quick. Now we're going to flip this fish over, and we'll do the second side very quickly. So again, that first cut right up towards the shoulder, and then down towards, down towards the belly. Second cut right down the back. And I'll turn the fish again, and make the third cut on the bottom of the fish. We should be able just to peel this skin up again, just like we did the last time. There we go. I could peel that all the way off if I wanted to. And then again, just score parallel to the floor or parallel to the cutting board. And get a little bit of depth in there. And I should be able to lift this meat up. Score right down towards the backbone. Once I get far enough in here, I should be able just to lay the knife right. 
So there we go with our nice second fillet. Notice with that angle that we made, we avoided most of those rib bones. So this is a nice boneless fillet. We'll set this over here on our tray. And voila, we are ready to cook.